Hey, I'm Morgan from Mahalo, and we're going to be going over um, some window uh, shortcuts and uh, tips. Um, the first one we're going to do is uh, App Locker, and um, what this does is it locks um, certain users that you select from using certain applications. So say you don't want your kids to use uh, Internet Explorer, um, you can go ahead and lock it, and uh, that'll um, deny permission for them to open a Windows Explorer. Um, yeah, so let's go over it. All right, the first thing you have to do is go to the start menu and type in um, right here in this dialog box, uh, gpedit.msc. Go ahead and click enter. A window will pop up. Um, and in here, what you want to look for is um, Windows settings. Click on the little triangle and then go down to uh, security settings. Click on the little triangle again and then go to uh, application control policies. Let's start up. All right, so there you see app locker. All right, sometimes you'll see a problem um, where you have little triangles on there. Um, that means you have already a uh, rule set up. Um, but if you don't and it won't let you right click, just click on the little triangles, they'll uh, go away. Once they're all gone, you can right click, create new rule. And you get this page. Um, go ahead and click next. And then here's where you're either allow or deny access. Um, and you can select what users you want. I only have um, my own user because it's not connected to the internet or anything in network. Um, but here you have a list. You can type in um, different users you don't want um, to allow access to. So I'll just leave it blank. And then uh, click next. Mine is set to everyone right now. Um, you can have you have different choices when you uh, select what rule you want to add. Um, you have publisher, um, which will uh, limit um, all applications from the same publisher. You have a path, which will limit just to a path in your Windows system, and then you have file hatch, which is a little more complicated. So let's just go over uh, path right now. Go ahead and click on path. Click next. And then this is where you'll select your uh, path. So go to Browse Files. Um, here I'm gonna, uh, let's see, what can I do here? I'm gonna do uh, iTunes. So go ahead and click on iTunes. Select iTunes. Select down at the bottom and click Open. So there's my path. Now I click Next. And here's where I select Path. I can add more exceptions, like maybe um, you want to uh, allow people to use the internet but not install stuff. This is where you you can add exceptions. Um, so I'll just leave it blank because we're just going to completely deny access to iTunes for everyone. And click next. Here I'll type in an easier name to remember. I'll type in uh, iTunes. Everyone denied. There we go. Go ahead and click create. Um, to delete or remove a, uh, an exception, it's very easy actually. Um, go the same path I, I said before, and you just look for the one you want to delete, and you right click and click delete. Or you go into properties and uh, set up change stuff, but right now we're just going to delete the, uh, the rule. So to give you this uh, warning, Yes, delete, and there you go. So it's very easy to uh, deny people access to programs and uh, applications that you want. Um, it's good for like kids if you don't want to have them use uh, certain games or whatever. Um, very easy way to do this. Um, if you want to check out more Windows 7 tips, make sure you click on these links, and um, I'll see you there.